All right, guys, today we're gonna talk about my seven knife collection. Now, earlier I did a three knife collection and it was a little bit more subjective. I didn't like quite doing three knives, but to be honest, I feel like most needs can be met, at least from my point of view and my point of use with seven knives. So today we're gonna do a seven knife collection and go over what I think my seven knives would be. Like I said, I think this gives me a little bit more freedom and flexibility. And I think if I actually did end up going this route of a seven knife collection, I'd probably have a few of these spots like on rotation. So we'll get into that. It'll make a little bit more sense in just a bit. All right, first off, this will go over the same or similar three knives that I went over for budget high class and budget high class and outdoors, but I wanted to do a little bit, just, just a little bit more, add some knives in here for some more flair. So anyways, first up is going to be, like last time, the budget knife. Now for me, I still think I'm going to choose for the budget slash user. And like I did in that video, this isn't so much a super budget oriented knife. Like it's not the cheapest knife you can find on Amazon, but I think that this is a knife that is under a hundred dollars and one that I would feel totally comfortable plunging into some situations that would probably damage it. So this one right here is the Red Rat 1 by Ontario Knife Company and it is a CPM S35 VN knife. It's a good size, it's a good weight, and it just does everything pretty well. So it's just a well-rounded blade. Anyways, that is going to be my budget knife. Now, stepping up into the outdoor knives. Now, I previously had the Strider SNG as my one outdoor knife, but I think if I had a seven knife collection, I would focus on having a survival focused fixed blade and a bushcraft focused fixed blade. So for this one, we're gonna say the Bark River Knives Bravo One for the survival side of things. This one's definitely a little bit more of a survival knife with its quarter inch thick A2 tool steel and just overall beefy design. So that would be my choice for the survival knife. And then of course, stepping over into bushcrafting would have to be my Bark River Knives Bushcrafter. Of course, this would be my go-to bushcrafting knife. So those two would be pretty much round out my um, outdoor knives. And I might end up choosing the CRK Pacific over the uh, BRK Bravo one, but it would be something along the lines of either the Barky Bravo one or the Pacific. All right, so that's budget and the outdoor knives. Now let's talk about some other knives. So the next two up are going to be what I would call my fidget and fizz factor. So for fidget, I don't know if I'd choose a ballast song for sure, but I would certainly choose something that is super fidgety, something that you can just play around with, have fun, you know, uh, do something that's cool. Unfortunately, I don't know a lot of cool flips just yet for ballast songs, but I do know how to open them and close them pretty well. So anyways, I would choose something that has a high degree of fidget to it so that, you know, you could have something if you're sitting on your couch or on a sick day, something like that, you can have something to play with. Um, it doesn't have to be the most serious knife in the world. It doesn't even necessarily have to leave your house. And that's where I think something like this, uh, you know, Balasong, this one's in uh, this one's the Mantis Knives Fly Switch in particular, but something like a Balasong makes a really good choice because these things, like a lot of people talk about flipper knives or something like that, you know, having really high fidget factor or something. Uh, I think things like Balasongs and Gravity Knives have a lot more fidget factor because they literally are designed to be flipped and twirled and, you know, moved around. So the Gravity Knives make for really, really good fidget knives because of their given style. All right. Now let's talk about the Fizz Factor knife. Now this is one similar to my fidget knife. This would probably be one that was on rotation. If I did really have to choose, you know, seven knives, I would probably have this spot kind of in a rotation. So i.e., this would be something that just gives you fizz, so to speak. I know uh, some of you guys are Wrangler Star fans. And so if you know Wrangler Star, you know, so if you know Wrangler Star, you know what I'm talking about, but something that just gets you excited, something that's just really cool. And so this would be, like I said, one of those kind of rotation spots where I would always have something in this rotation, but it might move. For now, this is the American Blade Works Model 1. And this one's, of course, a Warren Cliff in Magna Cut steel. So this one's pretty cool, pretty hip. It has the Ultim scales on it, so it looks really awesome. But this would be my kind of choice for something that just gives 
see fizz. You know, it isn't necessarily, it's not the most fidget friendly knife. It's not necessarily the most high class knife. It's not something I'm gonna plunge into a pile of, you know, or open a bunch of concrete bags, I should say, with, you know, so, stuff like that. Um, it's not something I'm gonna open a bunch of bags of like quick creep with, you know, it's not something I'm gonna thrash on or beat on, but you know, it works. All right, so then the next two are gonna be a bit more expensive and these are gonna be like the classy knives. So the first one up for me, and I originally chose the Sabenza, I would go back and forth between either the Encosi, which is what you're looking at right now, or the Sabenza. Either one of them, they're super classic, super timeless, super beautiful knives. That They're the types of knives that you can carry whether you're going on a date, whether you're going to like an event, something like that where you need something that's a little bit more dressed up, that's not going to look, you know, it's not gonna scream like, I'm a knife per se it's going to be a little bit more toned down but still look really good and if you do have to pull it out something you can easily slow roll out you know it's not going to scare anyone it's not going to be an otf something like that so that is why i would go with something like the Nkosi or sabenza as like a high class carry all right, last one up. And once again, if I was limiting myself to just seven knives, I would make sure to have a really solid custom because this is somewhere or something that I feel like, you know, if you appreciate knives, if you really like knives, having something like a custom, like this is my full custom, um, Gavco Knives Nurse. And so this guy is, I think, one of those really good like bridges where it's like, you know, if you are paring down your collection, you might have some money to have a really nice, really clean, well-made blade. Are they cheap? No, this is about double the cost of the last knife we talked about, the Chris Reeve. You know, this is an over thousand dollar knife, but at the same time too, it's one of those things like, once again, you don't, you're not putting a lot of money into a lot of knives. You're putting a, l a lot of money into a little bit of knives. That's why I feel like something like a full custom becomes a little bit more justifiable because it is just one of those things that's very nice to have. And you know, once again, similar to the Sabenza or Nkosi, you pull it out on a special occasion to carry and to use it and to be happy with it, or even just play with it like a fidget knife. So anyways, that is kind of my seven knife collection and what I would choose for categories. Like I said, my fidget and fizz knives would probably be on rotation because you know, after a while, you might get bored or tired of flipping around a ballast song. So maybe you go to an automatic, you know, or an OTF. After a while, you go back to a ballast song or something like that. So a fidget knife would be something that I would probably have on rotation. And definitely a fizz knife would be something that I'd have on rotation where it's like, you know, you carry a knife, you use it a little bit, you have fun with it, you enjoy it, and then you, you know, pass it on to the next person. So that would be my idea of a seven knife collection. Now, of course, these knives are here to stay. I'm not selling any of these guys just yet at least probably not though um, in general so anyways guys that is my seven knife collection as always guys god bless and i'm out